hello and welcome to my channel come on in the water's fine you're all welcome here if you're an oldie but goldie hello hello and if you are new my name is Louise Pentland I make uh, videos about motherhood and lifestyle and things that I like and things that are important to me topics and issues and such and I'm an author um, and also this morning I was on BBC Breakfast so for today I'm going to call myself a TV personality <laughs> as well that's what I am hi Louise Pentland TV personality um, today is a very special video because it is the annual station rehaul da -da -da. Um, this is visual effects to um, you know display how exciting an annual station rehaul is but I feel like I should just stop moving my hands around quite so much now if you are an oldie but goldie, you will know that every year around this time, end of August, I do an annual stationery haul. I think there are two types of people in this world, those that love stationery and those that don't. And I am a stationery lover and I have been collecting little bits of stationery to show you. There is no order to these or preference I'm going to show you them in. I'm just going to show you that sweet, sweet stationery goodness for you to drool over. Um, particular shout out to Kath Kidson who had a lovely range with bumblebees on and I bought an A4 um, like bumblebee notepad and I have lost it in the house somewhere so that was going to be in here and it's not but big shout out to Kath Kidson for your gorgeous stationery I liked that a lot and when I find it uh, I'll be really happy but until then oh yes look at this this is from Paper Chase for £18 and it is a 2018-2019 planner. If we open this gem of glory, we will see that we have some stickers here um, that say things like important, remember, birthday, holiday. Let's wait for those to show to you. Oh, yes. And the other page is a duplicate, and that has this lovely marble effect pocket here. Um, personal details, you shouldn't fill those in in case you lose it, you don't want to have all your details there and then it has the month by month planners and then as you get into it um it's a week across two pages and two big pages which i really like because you can actually get stuff on it oh look at that ombre lined paper would you please um it's all pastels um and then this like geo what are we calling this geodesic geometric geometric gold detailing on the cover here, on like the inside cover. <gasps> Notes on hexagon paper. Oh yes. Yes, I will take your hexagon paper please and thank you. I just think this is delicious and if you are starting a new school year, <gasps> on each month it has an inspirational quote. I'll spoil it for you. June next year is always believe something wonderful is about to happen. I do believe that. Oh, March is do what makes you happy stationery makes me happy um i'm glad i started on this because i think this is absolutely lovely i actually do my years in my mind still as the academic years so i get really excited in september i feel like it's time for new starts new planners and fresh beginnings from accessorize where you would never necessarily think to look for stationery i bought these little sticky notes plan organize and create and they are post-its in these fun shapes and then little stickers and I thought that I could give these to Darcy because she's starting the new school year soon so I thought they would make like, even if I just pick one off and just give her one little like sticky thing to put in her pencil case and enjoy, I thought they'd be super cute. Back to Paper Chase now, I am currently having a love affair with A4 ring bound notebooks. I like them the best, they're not cool for like transporting around because they're heavy and you have to have a big bag but for my like daily to-do lists or planning videos and such are you a bit gold on the oh yes sprayed edges <gasps> thank you um this was 10 pounds it's navy and spotty gold um and also quite slim lined which i like because my writing can be quite small and i can fit a lot in so these are the sort of books i plan my videos on um would you like a video on how I plan videos? Or is that kind of a bit meta and you just want the videos, you don't want to see how they're planned? Let me know. Um, so this is gonna be like one of those store ones that I'm gonna save and then when I need it, I'll be like, oh, don't worry, I'm gonna use this. Um, I'm currently going through a, Ka a Kate Spade one, which I just love with all my heart and I'll be sad when it runs out. A little mini haul of bits and pieces from Ikea. Um, I picked these up for Darcy's room. Gosh, the lighting in here is a bit dodgy, isn't it? 
sorry about that guys. So I picked up this little pink notebook um, with the strappy on to keep it all together. Some fairy lights, not clearly, they're not stationary but they're gonna go on that little floral display. A sellotape, a little pack here that's sort of paper clips and bulldog clips and sticky notes and she can pop it on her desk and be organized. And then this basket um, I think has double layers because we have like some stuff in there to make it up. I uh, bought this a long time ago and I can't remember. I'll have to Google it. Um, I'll have to Google what it is. <gasps> yes, now we have warm lighting. This is a bit nicer. I hope this the sun stays out and it stays this lighting. Um, also from Accessorize, this, and I think this might be my favourite piece. This is a piece. I'm saying it like it's couture, couture fashion. Favourite bit of paper stationery. Um, this is Dream It, Plan It, Do It. It was £10, which is a lot for a little notepad. But what I like about it is it opens like this. Ah. Um, I've already started using it. It says notes at the top. Um, it also has perforated edges, so if you want to like rip a page off, you're not going to get that like jaggedy edge. Um, it's lightly lined, it has space for the date, which normally I wouldn't really care for, but I was like, you know what, I will write the date. Um, and I particularly like, I feel a bit like a New York reporter, because I'm like, I'll just take my notes. Yes. Again, not technically stationary, but I bought a pack of dinosaur magnets. I was going to give them to my sister. <laughs> I still might give them to my sister, but I do really like those. So Tiana, if you're watching, if you really want these magnets, you need to tell me, otherwise they're going on my fridge. Now this I'm excited about. This is from Jules, and it was 16.95. And what it is, is a um, wrapping paper book. A gift wrap book, which includes wrapping paper and gift tags. You know when you have a gift for someone and you haven't sorted out the wrapping, well, I figured that I'll have this in my cupboard. It would take up no space. I won't have great big rolls anywhere. And then inside, this is neat. It has folded up pages of different wrapping paper. That's so cool with like turnips on. Um, so it has all this like jewelsy designed paper. That's nice. <gasps> I really like this so much. And then also in the back here, if we look carefully, it has all the tags. There you go, can you see those? Um, so I thought that was really nifty. I suppose if you're trying to, if you're on a budget or you're economizing, this is probably not the best idea because um, for 16.95 you could buy quite a few rolls of wrapping paper. But if you're like, if you don't have a lot of space or you particularly like those designs or you know that you just have a few like little bitty gifts or you work in an office and you have to send gifts out for whatever reason, I thought that was quite a good idea. It's called Wonder in the Woods Gift Wrap Book. I do wonder if they will have other ones for different seasons because this is very autumnal. I assume they'll have a Christmas one. Jules, let me know. Uh, but I picked that up because I thought I'm gonna show that to you because I thought that might be interesting. From Amazon, I bought myself some origami paper. I really enjoy making little origami creatures. I'll just look up a tutorial on YouTube and then I'll sit and do it. And in the evenings, I like to have something to do with my hands. So sometimes I make little origami creatures. I can make really good boxes, with really good lids. I can make boats. I can make little swans. Um, what did I make recently? A crane. So yes, I just picked up a pack of those super cheap on Amazon. This was a lovely kind gift. This is the She Is Quick and Curious and Playful and Strong notepad. I'm gonna find a page that hasn't got my writing all over it. It's one of these, like a lined ring binder one with, look at the inside, I'll show you on the back so you don't get my stuff. <gasps> Gold foiling. This is from Kate Spade and this was a gift from my publisher. So thank you very much, Bonnier. This is exactly the kind of stationery I like. I also love that you can't see the rings until the back there and they poke out there. Um, it's nifty, it's a really good handbag size as well. So if you were looking to treat yourself to some luxury stationery, Kate Spade always has really nice stuff in. It doesn't always have a lot in at once, but it has really nice stuff. They have some really nice planners at the moment. I bought one for my friend Charlotte. So if you are looking for special stationery that is a bit more expensive, Kate Spade is really nice. Um, yeah, 
So next up are going to be all the little bits that Darcy is taking to school with her in the new year. She chose a rubber, so this is from Paper Chase. It's not only a rubber, with a lid, which I love, so it's not going to get all like gunky in your pencil case. Oh, that is a nice rubber. It's got like a good powdery texture to it, but not too powdery. I used to get really upset when you would rub things out and, it, and the, the rubber would get dirty, so I'd have to rub something out and then rub onto clean paper to like clean the rub off the rubber. Um, if you're in America, you're having a hoot right now because rubber is what you call condom, uh, but I'm talking about like an eraser. <laughs> and then in the bottom, it is, one second, it's a sharpener, and on the end of the sharpener, oh man, wow, there we go, um, it has the holes, so you put it like this, sharpen, 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 shut this, and you've collected all your shavings until you can get to a bin, so I thought that was nifty. Two glue sticks and a pack of six highlighters, chunky HB pencils with um, rubbers on the top, and then also slimline HB pencils, and these are rose gold, and I just don't think Darcy appreciates how well I've like curated her pencil case. I think she just thinks that these are just pencils and hasn't taken into account that these are rose gold pencils. But she is only seven, so she's got a long time to learn. A rather large calculator, and Darcy is so excited that she gets a calculator this year. This is the first year that they've been required to have a calculator, so she's picked this one. She's picked it in green to match her rubber. This was £10, which I think is extortionate for what this is. Um, but I just wanted to get everything done in one go, so I let her have it. Um, and it is nice, it's got these big chunky buttons um, and the screen tilts up a bit, so I'll enjoy thinking of her using this with her little tiny hands. A ruler, a 30 centimetre ruler. I really want to find a bending, uh, like a folding ruler. Did anyone used to have those at school that had like the tiny hinge that made a really satisfying click? And then last but not least, Darcy chose the most gaudy um, pencil case you've ever seen in your life. If you look closely, maybe it's easier from far away, it has a unicorn in it. This was £10 as well. Um, oh, I've just noticed the zip is rainbow too. So I'm sure she's going to love having all her bits and pieces in there. Um, and I'm really excited about putting it all together for her. Righty Roo, that concludes our annual stationery haul 2018. I hope that you enjoyed that and that the lighting didn't bother you quite as much as it bothered me. I'm sorry to rush as well, I've got to rush off because guess what I'm going now? I'm going to the radio station because I'm going to be on BBC Radio 4 because I'm just a whiz today and doing it all today and I'm feeling really excited. I don't know if you follow me on the weekly vlog or on Twitter but I talked about asking the universe and like the law of attraction and I have been asking the universe for more like traditional media projects like TV, radio and magazine and I don't, maybe it's just a fluke this week but I've had some this week so I'm going to keep asking the universe and positive thinking that it's going to happen um, and yeah I'm really excited so I'm going to have to go because I've got to drive over there now but I do hope you enjoyed that, I will try and list as many things below as possible um, and I would love to know if you are one of those people that love stationery as much as I do because although I only do one stationery haul a year I do buy more stationery throughout the year, do I need it? Not necessarily. Does it fill my heart with glad tidings and joy? It certainly does. Alrighty, thanks so much for watching and listening to me waffle on about notepads. I will see you all on Sunday for the weekly vlog at 9am and I love you lots. Thanks for watching. Bye!